Maybe we'll just start there in the third paragraph again. And let's make, let's make some progress here. So what is the Nakuda? The basic question is that how is it possible to know the Atmos? The question was compounded by the fact that it's done through mitzvah, kia shofar. How can a mitzvah, mitzvah, Oh, this is the last one. Well, it's in the papers, it's there. It's definitely there somewhere. Could be in that part as well. Huh? No, I mean, I put away a lot of the prior blocks. That's the mind, right? It's supposed to be. Have it? No, well, sure. Has it? No, it's not copies. Copies. Okay. No, no, go through the list. The, the this is it. off the angle. Yeah, this is worksheet or something. It's not well, it's not Just to maybe turn it over, go to the bit. See if I. Uh... There's nothing there. So make can make 10 copies and make more copies with them. Okay. I can look it on your phone. So that's the basic shot. How is the how is it possible to move at just it's a fundamental uh, uh, impossibility. But we just said on this, this anything about it finished. But the question is compounded by the fact that it's uh, that it's more is the mitzvah kia shayf, the mitzvah only follows after Kabbalah Samalchus, it's a complete reversal. After this, then you know, Malchus, that relationship is established, then you can have a tzivah. A tzivah should be the fundamental relationship. It's in completely incomprehensible. Okay, so that's the basic shyness, the other shyness as well. And according to what he's speaking about is as follows. This is the heart of the mind, but is the two beautiful that Chassidus gives for them shocha of what's happening in Rosh Hashanah, basically. And it's two catchphrases. If we understand the phrases, that's what the whole name is un unraveling here, it's the, pra uh, the phrases, and at the end, the two levels that, they that the, the two expressions address. The first is, he recorded in the mind, everything goes back to its, everything goes back. Period. That's one meaning. Second quote, both in Kabbalah, is that's the more classic, well, both are classic. It has to be the union of what? Of Binyan and Malchus. That Malchus is dismantled and Malchus is rebuilt. On the surface, it sounds the same. But, it, but the Pinimius and the scrutiny, as it were, they're not the same. And that is, first, there's a whole lot of what is meant in Binyan and Malchus. So, first, he established that Malchus, again, for a university student, what are we talking about? Malchus means to reveal. It's implicit in Malchus, uh, and in no other sphere in the same way. Because the whole gather of Malchus is a relationship with, with another. The other sphere is. Beneficial order, a person can be a bit of a chesed, and there's nobody that he bestows it upon. It's a belly, that's who he is. Speech is you're talking to somebody. So the whole gather of Malchus implicit, as in no other spheres, is otherness. How about this means given? What it means is being revealed to something outside himself. So he explained that in every sphere is the gather of Malchus of every sphere. That is the gilui property of every sphere. What's happening in Rosh Hashanah? No, so before we get to that, before we get to that, so the the matziv, as we as we refer to the matziv, especially in Israel, the matziv, the matziv, the matziv, it's I'd say the ishtal shalos the way it is, the way they used to create it, as opposed to what I'm going to say, as opposed to what avoid 
as opposed to what the Chiddush of the Yid brings to existence. So the way creation is set up by the Abishta. So there, where is Hashem revealed? Let's go back to basics. Where's the Abishta revealed? In your style shows. Atzilus. So Atzilus, the Abishta is revealed there. The, each sphere, the malchus of each sphere reveals him there. So if you are invited to Atzilus, you know that there's an Abish in Nitin Mulvadoi, and Abish is revealing himself and he's asked the spheres and it's Yechud Yilo, and it's a wonderful world. But the Kavona is that Adoimim should know. Never mind Atzilus, never mind Bia, Adoimim. The Yede Kopol Kiyata Bia. In the words of the Maimer, therefore, the natural mitzat seider ishtalshalus property of the malchus, gather ha malchus, as it first really emerges, which is in Atzilus, which is the gilu of Alikus to otherness. It's oilum Atzilus. But that's not going to, that's lost completely on Bia. There's no gilu in Biyah whatsoever. It's outside the Shtalshit. It's a profound symptom, then starts at Lamabriya, Yitzir Asiyah, Doimim, Yashis, continues in independence, all the way down to the Doimim, all down to Pari, that's in Aniyah B'Avsiyah. Complete denial. Kavon is that the Doimim should know it. So therefore, in the words of the Maimber, Malchus has to assume a partsuf bifnei atzma. I'm using the language of Kabbalah to say this now. The mind will explain it a little bit and we'll, the government will write it up so it'll be clear and it's be visual. So Malchus has to assume a parts of Bifnei Atzma in order to reveal. Again, let's remember Malchus is God's capacity, is not a good word because it implies it's intrinsic property, but God's property to reveal. That's what Malchus is. Abish giving rise to otherness, and otherness should know that he's the reality. So Malchus has to assume a part of its own in order to bring that message down to Bia and that message down to the world of total Hamlet Vahestad of the doyman of the inanimate, the silent doyman. Why it's silent is because it's completely by its very nature. Uh, uh, not aware of anything other than self. It's the Yeshan Nivra, which is really the ultimate corruption of the Yeshan Nivra. Was it Daimon? Why is it sitting in the That is. You yeah, don't, because it shows no chais, no life for Sadol. So then you could say the opposite. It's like it's a completely bucket. <laughs> that's the yesh of the human and it's a chami. That's like the the, the 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 flip side of the yesh and nivra is is ultimately the deepest expression of the yesh and nivra. For one of the reasons you just said now, that it's bittel, which could mean it's just me and nothing else, silent. Uh, could be it, it not could be that salavit. There should be a virtuous, a virtuous bittel, not not a bittel of completely uh, uh, unrelated to anything else in the relationship, it's just in its own world and no communication is what I'm looking for here. But, uh, but rather, a, that should be in this gal of the Shadi Shabbat, it's there, Mr. Bitter. Okay. And that's no, it's not a separate yeah. subject. This is the subject. So Malchus has to assume a path to Fifni Atma. That's the language of the, of the Maimir. In order to communicate and reveal the kavon of the kapol kiato pial. Now, to understand this, emotion. Two, two uh, emotional of a rav and two, two, two types of rav. One is going to explain that silos, the other is going to explain. The binyan ha malchus lemata, and shocha malchus lemata. The first rav is a rav 
which also, which also requires a huge talent, is able to distill a very profound concept to his disciples, to his, to his students. But the language that he speaks is essentially the language of the Rav, but it's very, it's with Tzumtzum. That's Atzilus. Atzilus is both Tzumtzum. And Atzilus, Malchus, the Bebish's words communicate, and, and meaning to say, meaning to say, that in the Eilam Atzilus, that the Talmud in the Eilam Atzilus, it's, it's a creation, it's the Talmud, is getting the message of Eilam Mulvado. That's what's revealed there. Atzilus is Eilam Achtos, I mean, there's no greater words that could be said. There's no more superlative words that could be said about Hashem's revelation and his relationship to creation than in Atzilus. Yichudi What's happening there? So that's how Derech the Rav is able to articulate to a Talmud the profundity of the idea. At the end of the day, it's still Achri Atzimtzum. We're talking as spheres and the purity, the absolutivity of Atzimus and Eirin itself is not revealed. It's talked about, not revealed. Saying that Atzimus is not revealed in Atzimus, or the first is not revealed. Yes. Everything is relative, but in its no, the answer is no, it's ten spheres. It's what Atzilus, the Abishter, choosing to reveal himself in these ten ways. So the experience of the ten ways. But the ten ways are understood as his expression. It is not the revelation of pure Atzimus beyond as the spheres, beyond the whole gather of gather of gather of gather. Yeah. So otherness is knowing him. And what's the otherness? The ten spheres. The ten spheres already are the gather about the talking language, words, specific functions. That's, that's the otherness. It's the otherness within. And it's an otherness within. So of course, that's where Attila says Malosh and eight cell near. It's all within the Likus, not, not outside. But on the other hand, it also means the to manifest, to, to separate the so is it close or is it far? The answer is, here is the beginning of otherness, knowing it as an age. Where's the otherness? The talking spheres? It's dotted. That's the otherness right there. The, the understanding or the knowing in Atsilas of Atmos or of Ur, of Eloquist? Of Atmos carried by the earth. They're talking in the Movada. It's a nice language that we do. We're talking in the world, we're saying the world. So yes, of course, the Abishta Atilis is the experience of the Abishta revealing himself in this, in these ways, and these ways are his revelation. But what's the experience is? It's these 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 spheres. Yehudilo bottle united with him, etc. But still, we're talking together already, oh, not stand by, that's already in itself. It's already otherness, already it's already in itself. Light, revelation, it's already otherness. But that's the potential, the kirch, the chaylis. Here it's already a description, as a spirit. What's the marshal of here? It's the rav giving over the concept to Talmidim in a language that is simplified, but it's, it's still his words. It's the words of the rav. And the Talmidim are in to some degree, it's a great, it's a great talent of the Rav, to bring the Talmidim into his world, to know the concept in, 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 in a limited way, a, meaning Abish to revealing himself in Asher Sviris. But it's still through a profound symptom. That's one of So which Talmud's gonna get the message? The Talmud's gotta be in that world. I should understand the language of this concept. Like, not the language of the way that Rav knows it, the way he knows it in Machshav, the way he knows it in, in higher levels of, of, his, of his perception. But, but, but the way from Klon, he's got to be in his world. Then there's a Rav that's able to bring the concept down to a town that is completely not in that world. How does he do that? A Moshul. Those are Maisa with a with Melech and a Bas Melech and a Medina. These are the basic uh, components of Mishalim and Midrash HaChazal. 
all the Talmud here is, he sees his what? Is the Moshe. The Emes is, everything's a paradox. In the Moshe, the whole Oymek of the Seichel lies. In that, the first Oifen of the Rav, it's all they're ever going to get really is, they're nothing to work with to unravel the essence of the concept. They have the concept simplified. Not, not compromised, but simplified. Zeh, come on. The paradox is that in the Moshe, the whole Oymek and Etzem HaSeichel is there. Every, it takes 40 years to unravel. Last week's parish, Adad Boim Every detail of the Moshe, so what's the, what's, the, what's the paradox here? The Moshe is something else. It's not the language of a Chalav. It's not the concept. It's not the language of the concept. It's the language of the Talmud. And it's a complete hell and vast. This is what it means by the words we said earlier, Malchus in the parts of Pifnei Atzim. This is what it means. This is a marshal for it. It's the Rav giving over the Indian in the parts of Bifnei Atzim, which means a whole new form, a whole new language, which is not the language of Atzim, it's the language of the Doimen, a Maiser, the person, and a Melech, and a Bas, and a Medina, and a Chareva. Hell is, and this is a much higher Rav, that in the Moshe, every single prat is Megalda, the Oymik and Etzem So the difference in the two scenarios is that the first scenario is that Tamid didn't get it right away. He talks, they got it. And what they get is what they get. And they have the idea, and it's simplified, and it's, and it's, and it's, 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 it's faithful to the Etzem idea, but it's a simplified version. And the less the Talmud, the less that will go through. Uh -huh. And the less greatness of the Talmud, so to speak, the less that will go through. You took, first, first scenario we're talking? First scenario. Yeah. Because but, there's, it's but, just a concept. So but let's but say, all the Talmudim and Atzilus. But I was saying, then Biyah from there can't get that. Biyah, this is, doesn't, the, the Talmud in Biyah doesn't understand a word that's being said. That's right. Not less. Nothing. His language is the language of creation. Biyah. Yesh Ma'ayin. He's a Metzius. You can never get that. Zero knowledge. He hears the word, he means nothing. He hears the Rav speaking, that Talmud who's in a different world, not he gets a little bit, no one gets anything. And there's different, there's Talmud of Briye, Yitzir, Now, the Kavon is the Talmud of the Agashmi. All he knows is, is this? A cup of coffee. If you are the Tigers. That's pretty much all we know. They're complex, they're complex creatures. But it's all essential, Kashmir's. It couldn't be further removed. To bring to that Talmud, so you've got to get down to his world and use the language and the imagery. It's a whole different. But the Pele is, and this is the true Oymik, this is the flaw of Ein Sof. That's what the mind is going to say so. This is the flaw of the Ein Sof, the wonder of the Abishtha's Giloi, that his Giloi is so great. He, he, his capacity to reveal himself is so profound that he can reveal the profundity of his presence even in a world that com is completely foreign. And never yesh The Moshul being the Rav, how does he do that? By putting it in the Moshul. That's the Rav, this is the Moshul. That's the flaw of Ein Sof. That's the flaw of Ein Sof, and that's one beer that describes what's happening in Rosh Hashanah. The Shoifer is also the Moshe. The Shoifer is the Doiman that we're talking about. And in blowing the Shoifer, more details to come later in the Maimah. But the fact is, in blowing the Shoifer, the matter, this is just the Moshe, a physical, it's a Doiman. First of all, it comes from the Behemoth, number one. So the point is that the Behemoth within has to know that there's an Abish. Not just my, my goof, the doyman, so the so the cat has to be severed. It, just, it comes now inanimate. It's first a living thing. Now it's now it's an inanimate object. And this shayfar is machtir the melon. This means that in the moshul, in the moshul, the whole oymek truth of the, tr the of the seichel, which is what's the seichel, the eilid muvada, the the the, the ultimate like, truth is expressed and revealed and acknowledged with each passing year deeper. That you're the only reality. And that is the flow of Ein Sof, the wonder of Ein Sof, that the Ebisha can reveal his presence in Gvul, 
and not just in Gvul, in, in, in Doiman, in a world that's Lechore, not Lechore, it's a creation, it's not it. The Rab is using language and imagery, it's not his world altogether. He's in a world of a complete abstraction. He's got to put himself in the mind of the Talmud, in the mind of the Talmud that knows HaMaisef, HaMelech, and Abbas, and Medina, and that's what he speaks. But every Prat reveals the Oymek HaSeich. Why? Because the master, he, he creates the most. This doyman, it's not something else. They wish to, they wish to make this, and this is in the Yesha, and never, it lies the Yesha. Paradox, on top of paradox. But that's a whole avoid, thousands of years, Aboim Shnin, Tuol, in Megala, that in the doyman, which is the, the marshal, the Karen Gashmi and Elam Hazer here reveals the truth of Aiden Mavadi, but MS much more than Atzilut, which is only Simpson. They get it right away and it's beautiful and it's light. And here it's a torturous avoidance, ultimately the end. But what's revealed, it's a in the most. Now, all of this is to say, all of this, so we have two Matzov in there. And then avoid the kavon el yoyin. The we the we're using the two models: first rav and the second. This is all to explain the second statement that the mind brought. Of what's happening on Shishona is that Malchus is dismantled and rebuilt all the way down the map. Then it's called avodim chesim lekad musam desivnai. The flaw of Ein Sof is talking about Atmos Ein Ein Sof, where Shaykh is to speak about the flaw. What does that flaw mean? What's that flaw? The flaw is that he can be revealed even in, even in that in inanimate, finite, physical being can know him. He can make himself known even in a daimon, by a daimon. Tremendous Chiddush, that flaw of Ein Sof. Clear? But on Atmos, it's not shy to say a flow, a flow of Atmos. And Atmos is no language. There's no malice, there's no history, there's no flow, there's no mind, there's no matter, there's no. An Atmos is not shy to say. This whole beer that's happening in Rosh Hashanah is the flow of Ainsoft that's reinvested every year deeper in Elam Haz. So we'll give more language to it in a minute. But so we'll just say the statement now, it'll we'll continue tomorrow. The statement called Advarim Chazim Le Kad Musa, that draws on Atmos Mamash. Kol Advarim Chazim Le Kad Musa. So here we're drawing not only the Abishtis Malchus, his revelation, and the Moshul of the Rav that we gave that gives the Moshul, but Atmos itself. So what, what's the difference? As we said last time, the Chilik is, when we speak about that Rosh Hashanah is Mamshir, that flaw of Ein Sof, higher than ever before, and Er Chodosh. So we're talking about there is, that there, like this, there is a creation. It's a given. The Abish to withdraws his desire for this creation, as we, we phrase it, his investment in this creation, and the investment in creation is deepened every day. Deepen means Pasha that further and further reaches and depths of the world know him. And I'm going to have we sing it Pasha in our world today. Political science, everything. We've been evolving this way from, from the dawn of creation. That the Tav itself knows Olympus. It's happened because every year Rosh Hashanah is the Moshul, that flow of Olympus permeates and saturates and starts to resonate deeper and deeper within creation. But more than that, that's the flaw of it. More than that, the very pchid of Atmos. The very pchid of Atmos, the very, or before the Nisam. Why should there be a Nisam? That's being Nimshech Mechadosh. That's a third matzah. There's no Mosholim for that. There's no Mosholim. The Moshe was the communication that the Dainim should know. 
When we speak about the raw pchir of Atzimus, there's, just, there's nothing to say other than Atzimus chose. But this is what a Yid is ma'udah. Which makes that question stronger. We're being ma'udah the etzer pchir. Fundamentally, as we say all the time, Dirib Tachtenim is not a reason for creation. It's the purpose of creation. Why should there be a reason? Why should there be a purpose? There's no answer for them. It's pchir Atzimus. It's like asking why is there that which doesn't answer why he is. He's pchir he is. That is nishadosh. Kol advarim chayz and makadmus. Okay, so we'll revisit this in now in the words of the Maimer and Flower Head probably next week tomorrow. That's kind of I have a I have a quick question. A quick question. Is this are, are these two are these two mashalim similar to if a person um, sees the light? of something, but in a pinhole, a pinhole, or through veils where he sees not the light, he sees a veiled light. No, the, veil, the veiled light is still at Tzimus. Still the light, that's something else. But, 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 the, but no, but the one that there's, uh, there's a masach, there's a, a so total a wall, clear. but there's a little hole, there's a hole in the wall. And uh, the actual light does come okay, through, so you're, so but that's it comes two, through in a very small thing. Yeah, but, so that you're talking, right. two, you're talking two dargis in oil in gilo, but it's still it's still gather a gilo, still gather a gilo. Putting the seichel in the marshal is not is not is nothing you know of tzimtzum and gilo and veil. It's something completely no. foreign. And marshal, on the surface, had, had nothing to do. It doesn't allow the world of like. An, huh? an oyer shel tulda. It's an oyer shel tulda. But the uh, but but if the light seeps right through, uh, goes right through the crack. There's a crack in the wall. That's the a actual light. Coming in, not in the muscle. In the muscle, there's no cracks. No, not the muscle. We're speaking of the different things. Either you're getting the real thing, or you're getting a veiled thing. If you're getting a veiled thing, it's going through a muscle. What do you mean by the real thing? It's Depends what you mean by veil. There's different kinds of things. So it depends. Is it symptom which doesn't happen? There's curtains. There's curtains. If you mean, if, 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 if you mean a symptom, a, a, a radical symptom, like between Atzimus and Biyah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a radical change between Yichud Yilon, Yichud Atato. It creates a whole new reality. So that kind of symptom, yeah. The idea being, what emerges now is the world of the motion. It's a whole different, a whole different uh, world. All right, friends, we continue tomorrow. We want to slit this. What? You're on Zoom? Good.